are today at Silver Creek, um, right off of Silver Creek High School, where we are out with students, a part of their eco club, looking for microplastics in the street. So our microplastics project is a project where we were given a grant by the Science and Cultural Facilities District across six different counties across the Front Range. The whole point of this project is to create a baseline study, citizen science project, where we're looking at the presence and absence of microplastics. So we all kind of have heard of microplastics in context of in the ocean and pollution, but it's not something we totally think about when we think about our backyards here in Colorado. So over 70% of all plastic pollution comes from inland sources. In Colorado, we are a headwater state, which means a lot of water originates from here. So it's important to think of where it's going and what we are doing to impact it on its journey to the Gulf of Mexico or the Pacific Ocean. Based on how thin it is, it's already probably broken down a good, good amount in the water. Microplastics have been found in snowpack all throughout the Colorado mountains, but never before has there been a study done in the water. So what you're looking at here appears to be just a bag of mud or a jar of water, but when you look uh, deeper into these samples, you see a more complex idea of the health of these ecosystems, these streams. And we can get with all the samples that we obtain from these different schools an overall idea of the health of these waterways as well as with the microplastics that are there or not there, the impact that we have in all of these other areas. In addition to some of these microplastic samples that we are collecting, we are also taking water quality data. Some of these water quality tests include pH, turbidity, dissolved oxygen, and we are even looking for macroinvertebrates which can also give us an idea as to the health of the waterway through the presence or absence of pollution. Now we are using a plankton tow here to actually collect uh, any possible micro or macro invertebrates that are in the water. Sometimes you gotta just get your hands dirty. I mean, a lot of this work is conducted in the lab, but this field work is very, very integral to the work that we do um, with this microplastics project and just in science overall.